Today I'm going to try something I've never tried before in my life uh, and that's to start the process of preparing uh, Mos Polikis. Uh, Mos Polikis is a traditional South African bread. Apparently it's sort of the equivalent of uh, French brioche and that's where the Huguenots brought it to South Africa the moss is must, the reference is the must that is used as um, the yeast. So I have been uh, fermenting in inverted commas grape juice, uh, which I made by buying punnets of grapes and the likes. And uh, I just thought I'd need to get a nice little intro, so here we standing. But I'll uh, be yes. using this as the intro then. So. Um, Onward we go. I'll stop referring to uh, the beauty of the place because that's what it is and there's a few drops falling on my head. So it's an ideal time not to go metal detecting, although it's 5.30 our time is low, low tide. I won't be metal detecting because I'll be preparing the must and well, no, I'll be mixing the flour and the dough and I'll show you the recipe and I will then show you the process. Right, so we'll speak when I'm back at home and I've got all the ingredients lined up for you to have a quick see. There's the recipe I mentioned. So we have the flour, we have the salt which we'll measure with the measuring spoons. We have the aniseed which likewise we'll do. The milk's been measured already to the 562. The 100 grams of butter, I wasn't going to not pick. Uh, eggs, we have three eggs behind me. Sugar, we'll measure three times uh, 250 milliliter. And the must, the grape must, I have measured it this morning and fed it a little bit. There we go. Don't, uh, it's not milk, it's our grape must. That's it. I will show you once we have the rest of the process going. If you scan over here quickly, you'll see a, a product of another video. Look there. Yum, yum. Knife. Good lady's portion. Okay, that'll be it for now. Okay, while, while we're getting the, uh, the, the milk and butter mix down to room temperature before we add the sugar and the eggs, uh, I've got a few references that I must tell you about. Um, I found the recipe on the internet, obviously, which I will link below in the comment section. But the recipe also includes a link to... Francesca Blau's um, process in the making. She's on a on a on a, a wine estate, and she said and she, uh, the lady is a natural. She learnt uh, all of these a lot of these things from her mother, and I just loved watching the video. Uh, it's on you're on YouTube, so look up there. You know where to look. Look up there for the card, and you can go and enjoy watching her baking the bread. Uh, I hope mine looks anything near like that. Uh, also, I don't know if you hear the music in the background. Uh, that's uh, Chris Pryor's podcast, which I will add a link to as well. Um, I've been following Chris Pryor's music uh, from I was about, uh, yeah, about the time when I just started sprouting a moustache, which was about 75 years ago. So that's how long I've been following the rock professor's music. So if you're wondering about that music, I've got the link also included down below. Yeah, it's 20 past 5 our time. I'm totally, totally within my rights to bake and brew. No, I'm not brewing today. Here we go. Beer open. You'll just have to wait and see what happens next, won't you? That's the second cup of sugar going in. Doesn't that look too cute? Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm not going to show you every step of the way. I'll show you next when we mix this. The milk, butter, egg and sugar mix with the dry stuff. So wait patiently. There's the eggs. And I'm sure you want to see them disappear, don't you? Look at that. Mm, that looks like an acrylic pore painting in the happening, don't you think? 
Nice. Look at that. I like that color. This is getting thick and gloopy now. Yeah, you know Michelangelo used egg yolks for his paint, so there we go. We'll use eggs for our brewing and baking paint. Right, here we go. Look at that. I'm gonna just mix some of this through or shall I just pour it all in? Well, too late she cried. It's all in. That's all in. Now I'm going to mix it through lightly just to get it, some of it absorbed because otherwise me, I will put half of it over the edge. I know me. So once we've got this sort of coming together, I'm going to add the must. That's behind me. Elbow here. Do you think we can add it in yet? I think we can start adding it in. And then I must knead lightly. Now I haven't kneaded anything for I don't know how long. So this can be fun. The kneading part that is. Yeah, this definitely needs He's very moisture. needy. <laughs> is he? Needy or nerdy? Which one? You make up your mind. You, the paying public, you make up your mind. Right, I think we must start adding this beautiful stuff that's taken me about three weeks to produce. I'm not going to add it all in yet. Just let me rinse out all the good stuff out of there. Hmm, this is starting to get little boy sloppy now. Little boy sloppy, you know what little boys love to mess in mud like this, don't they? Mmm, yes, I think I'm, I'm going to have myself quite a time mixing this lot through. I might have to start using my hands already. But before I do that, I need to take the other flour out in case I need flour for my hands. But no, this is looking good. Okay, we'll pour in the rest of the must. If you're wondering about the must, four punnets of grapes that I blitzed down. Uh, the first few punnets I used my hands to, to do the traditional wine pressing or grape pressing. And then I decided, no, it's better product if I use the little grinder. So now I'm going to go away because if I don't go away now where I need both my hands, I'm going to get myself in a jam here. Yeah. So I'll talk to you later once we've got this mixed through. Okay. Talk later. See, I'm kneading. Look. And I'm getting this to come together beautifully. There's a bit of flour still in the bottom, but we'll get it. And then I've got to get those clean. But not after the little boys had lots of fun. If he's not playing on the beach in the sand or digging holes on the green, he's playing in the mixing bowl. <laughs> okay, folk, I've kneaded this and kneaded it, and obviously something went wrong in the translation of the or the recalculation of the measures because I paired it down to two thirds um, of the one that you find online. But it's coming together nicely now. I'm going to stop messing with it because, as they said in the classics, You'll knock all of the air out of it, as if I know what I'm talking about. I'll show you the, the, the rise. That's the next step. I'll show you the rise, and then when we actually make the mosbolikis themselves. Okay, enough for now. The next morning, I have myself in my favorite mug, a uh, cup, of, cup of coffee. And I am... Happy to see that this has risen overnight, risen very nicely, right in the shadow. I'm trying to get this as best I can. Now, one thing I need to mention quickly is um, we couldn't find aniseed. So I believe fennel is a good substitute. So that's fennel seed you see there. So I'm going to knock this down now and then um, 
got the pans in the sink busy scrubbing them and once that is they are clean uh, I leave this to raise a bit again rise a bit again and then I'll start making the moss polykies themselves so uh, you'll have to just wait to see how far uh, this process goes and uh, when I eventually get to the process of making the little bollockies I'm going to put melted butter on my hands now so that I don't get a nice sticky gloopy mess all over me again like I did yesterday that was fun wasn't it oh, nicely again look at that now I've told you all about uh, fennel instead of aniseed that has really risen nicely just give me a second or show it too. Uh, the pans, they've been buttered. I'm operating alone. Yeah, it's early morning in the kitchen. Uh, so I have to get this done. Yeah, I've got two of these larger pans. I've got one smaller one, which was used for another project or two. That was even a boat hull at one point in time for one of the grandkids. And then I've got one of these Teflon pans, which I think I last used about 10 years ago so there you have it the coffee still on the go uh, first mug uh, there's the filter apparatus but yeah I'm gonna have a slurp of coffee and then I'm going to start trying to see how I can manufacture bosboliki balls uh, we'll speak again there you have it, three pans. It, uh, they're not the prettiest things on the planet, but for a first attempt, I think it didn't go too badly. We have some left, which I'll pop into the, which I have popped into the Teflon tray that can pop in at the bottom of the oven, and then we'll see how we can get these. After they've risen a bit, uh, we will pop them into the oven, which is preheating at the moment. And then we're going to see how this goes. Now I must say, obviously I've tasted this dough. And it takes me back to my granny's rusk baking. Uh, so it reminds me of that strongly. Okay, I made a, a mistake or two here. But I just want to show you quickly. Things are starting to look good. I need to rotate the pans because we have a terrible oven believe it or not the stove is not very old but it's a terrible oven so there we go starting to get a bit of color starting to do the what is it called the necessary oven spring and even the one down below is starting to show signs of goodness I better put this one down the side in the center and yes I'm sitting here on the floor trying to get this working look at that that's even made a nice little flat loaf in there so yeah things are looking up um, give it another 10 to 15 minutes uh, I had to up the temperature ever so slightly uh, the 140 wasn't really working but progress Another is another look here to see what is happening I still think this has to go a bit yep look at that or is it coming tappable uh, yeah no that's still look that's still not right so I'm going to switch bands again uh, this one uh, I know I'm making mistakes here I know one shouldn't open oven doors and all this kind of carry on but I'm sort of um, at a bit of a loss I'm not going to waste all of this uh, good dough which I've said to you I've tasted, it tastes terrific so I think I'm going to have to leave it another 5 or so minutes um, let's see I'm going to get a skewer and see uh, what the, the skewer does. Okay, let's see. I've got to grab the knife out of the drawer. Uh, it's more or less okay. 
let's see this one this is the uh, uh, it's a little bit damp let's see that one uh, still a bit damp or it could be the other damp rubbing off so okay five minutes so three pans full of moss polikis I quite like the way they have started to open themselves up I've put the sugar water mix on the top just with a basting brush with a basting brush I've broken the flat one that's quite flat as you can see there uh, tasted it it's delicious <laughs> I'm sorry to say but it's delicious so I'm gonna let this rest a little bit complete the baking in the pan for a few seconds or a few minutes longer and then I want to like the video which I've put the the link again over here uh, the video unfortunately is in Afrikaans but you get my gist and when when that lady uh, Francisca Blau breaks her bread open and you see the feathery texture I'm hoping I get the same then I'll know I've succeeded the knife tells me that it's basically cooked through I think I hope remember folk this is my first time at this so if it's a semi success I'll be very happy but if it's a greater success I'll be even happier right I'm going to show you the final but in a while after we've let this rest a little right bit. this is the real moment of truth look at that is that moist or is that claggy I don't know the real real moment of truth is when the children eat this look at that can you see what's lying there ha oh, ha lovely now comes another one of the tasters let him come and let them taste I want to know the tasting verdict that is it yeah, I'm actually after that lot there but I told you about in the video over here I told you about making space in the deep freeze because it was fresh lumps of meat that we scored on a special at one of the supermarkets for the next batch of that so I won't steal the children's that oh yeah that looks mm -hmm. divine oh yeah this is going right down my throat right we'll talk again what is the word i'm looking for i want to refer to a few uh few yes i have been milk no 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 i was gonna say while I'm waiting for this to cool down, I have a few. I want to refer to the YouTube clip and the recipe. So how do I, what is the word I'm looking, I was going to. You said I have a few. Yes, I know, I know, but I was going to use, I was just Are thinking. Are you going to say about No, the milk I was not happy to say about it. No. Just in case you were wondering about the milk, the eating up of the milk. She's going to kill me if I tell you this. But the good lady, she let it boil over. It wasn't me, you know. How lucky I am that I didn't do that. Can you imagine? I would have had such an earful. Oh. Anyway, it's time for a beer.